So this is another sample. It was quick little. This time it is an old rusted up and dulled up aluminum cargo box. And I'm also using the P3 Ultra here just to give a quick demonstration on it. So we have rust here from a different material, paint left over, oxidization on the aluminum itself. And so when I go in, I can just pick any of the points, doesn't matter really. I can actually go in and go over it quickly. And just clean it up. And so this is too fine. But I just want to show you the demonstration on it where you see how long it takes to actually get a result out of it if you use it just too fine of a grid but at the end you're going to end up with something very shiny which is nice especially if you want to pretty much polish it out to be a shiny aluminum again but so, let me grab quickly the coarse one and get this started better for us. Alright, I just grabbed the other two. So, this is the original one. Alright. There's a quick glow fine. So there's a sticker on it that says fine. And it has a different label on it. And then you have also the ultra P3 which is ultra fine and so this is what they look like so I just put the bottle down so you get a quick comparison I just use a microfiber cloth no water no nothing so now I use the fine one which is a little bit more coarse and as you can see this is brand new this is how you get the the unit shipped to you so I just use a little bit here you can see it's this same pretty much spot but you see how much more and how much easier I'm taking off oxidization so. So, there you have pretty much your comparison and now I just do the original one here on the other side. The reason why I'm doing this is so that you know what to use when for what. So the original one, as you can see, I used already quite a bit. Put the same down here. And you can instantly see this one is much more coarse. And you just go into the same pattern. You're gonna see the difference here in a minute. Don't wanna take more time cleaning than any any of the other ones, but you see each one have a different result. And at the end, let me now zoom in here guys so that you guys can see it. Because right now you can't, so that is the original. Then you go over here, this is the one which is called fine. And then you have here the ultra. The cleaning process is pretty much the same on all of them. It's just the time it takes to polish something. So with the original one, you can take off dirt and oxidization, which looks like this bad especially here in an aluminum sample. The Ultra P3 is pretty much like chrome materials, ultra shiny materials, um, gold, silver, other stuff, even glass. So for this application, it's too fine. Even the Ultra, I would say it's too fine on this rough aluminum. But if you have something which is polished already, that's why you wanna use the fine one. Right? has different ones, you can use it on windshield even and stuff like that just to get stuff off. 
But now I'm gonna show you how the how the whole thing works. And I just put it down with the finger because it's non-toxic. As you can see, non-toxic even on the label. You can store it, you can leave the cap off. All you have to do when it's dried out too much, just reapply some little bit of water just to get it liquefied. You can see on my microfiber just so that you can see it how dirty it gets and so there's still good material in it it's just dried up let me just get it a little bit wet quick so, just got a little bit of water to it as you can see I smear now around so you can see if I just use water again some of the dirt off as well but you're still not as good as one of the polishers so now I'm just doing it with it in a little bit of water and I'll just apply some pressure to it and you can see really how quickly you're getting all that dirt and you see that dirt that's all you're getting off the surface off and it is taking off all the oxidization and other debris with it If you want to use a machine later on, like a sander or a polisher, feel free to automate your tool and your effort to speed everything up. And as you can see now, this is the dirt which I'm picking up, which is this dirt which is rusted, some other of your oxidization stuff. So if I go over it now, as you can see, I'm already collecting so much dirt that it's running out here let me bring all right back to it so I'm just cleaning it up here quickly so you guys as you can see getting the oxidization off fairly quick and easy so if you use a power tool you're by far quicker than just using it by hand or doing it by hand so just apply some more here just to get it off but at the end I'm gonna use a machine myself but for demonstration purpose I just want to show you by hand so you can get with the machine actually like a buffing wheel so far in and I'm just overdoing it here in an area quickly for you guys you see how far it gets actually down into the aluminum and polish it. Alright, it should be good. So there you can see how quickly you can actually polish your aluminum back up. Again, it's quick glow, non-toxic. You see original, you can also get the fine and the ultra. So one highly recommendation from my side is use microfiber cloths. Um, they're easy to clean and they actually hold the dirt in better. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. And now I'm gonna do one final shot, zooming in for you guys, so you guys can see how much actually being taken out yeah, hopefully it focus now there you go now it's focus you can see how far I cleaned it up in comparison to a part which was not you can see the difference right there so again thanks for watching Please like and subscribe. More videos will follow shortly. Thank you.